some women in Egypt are more scared of the harassments on the street than they are of the threat of bombings. Caitlin Desset is originally from America, but now lives and works in Cairo. Caitlin, you wrote a blog on, on an Egyptian website on how men harass women because you have experienced this yourself, right? Yes, um, this is a pretty ubiquitous experience for women living in Egypt, whether they're Egyptians or foreigners. And uh, I decided that a way to kind of get back at harassers was for me to make fun of some of the more ridiculous things that they say on the street. Um, and I think it also helps people learn Arabic as well to see uh, how grammar structures work, even if it's not through the best kind of language, which is harassing language. And can you name some of the things that they say? Um, yeah, so me specifically, because I'm very fair-skinned, uh, sometimes they call me milk, which I think is pretty funny. Uh, sometimes just white, just hey white. <laughs> Other times duck, um, sugar, that sort of thing, yeah. And if you look at the differences between America and Egypt when it comes to harassments, what kind of differences do you see? I think uh, one thing here is that women in Egypt are more aware that harassment is an issue, whereas in America, uh, some people might not be exposed to it if they're not living in big cities and they just simply don't think it's a problem. Uh, whereas, you know, each country has its own women's rights issues and I think it's important to be open and listen to women's experiences in different countries. And uh, are there any organizations working on stuff in Egypt? Yeah, there are quite a few grassroots uh, women's rights organizations doing really incredible work in Egypt. Uh, a few that I like and try to follow are Operation Anti-Sexual Harassment and uh, Harass Map. There's also Shukt Harash. There's quite a few. And even more importantly, what should the men do? Uh, I think it's very important for when men, especially in Cairo, see other men harassing women, that they step in and say, that's not right, or do you ever think about how that makes her feel? Thank you, Caitlin. For more interviews on social issues, check out interconnection.com.